Pressure three, a light and extensible string has one end fastened to a point on the ceiling. Then passes under a smooth movable pulley A. The second particle of mass B after it goes through this fixed pulley hangs from the other end. So I've got my fixed pulley, I've got A and I've got B. I've got two strings on A and one on B, so A is gonna go B is gonna go down twice as fast as A goes up. And if I write my equations of motion mg for a is 18g, I have two strings and I have the direction of motion. So 2t minus the opposing force of 18g is equal to ma. And for b with one string, the acceleration of 2a. And with mg 20g hanging down we can say that 20g minus t is equal to m which is 20 times a which is my 2a so 20g minus t is equal to 48 and if i divide this by 2 i get t minus 9g is equal to 9a minus 9g plus t if i bring this across is equal to 9a and we're left with 11g is equal to 49a so a is equal to 11g over 49 and g over 49 9.8 over 49 is 1 over 5 so that's going to be 11 over 5, which is equal to 2.2 meters per second squared. And the tension in the string is going to be 9a plus 9g, or 9 times a plus g. So the tension in the string is 9 times 2.2 plus 9.8. So the tension in the string, 9 by 12, which is 108 newtons. Okay, what were we asked? Better check, show the acceleration was 2.2. Sir, can we submit it when we're done? Question four, yeah. same diagram. Just quick read through it, it's the same diagram. So we have our ceiling, we have A, Hopefully you're better at doing these diagrams in your copy than me. This is our fixed pulley. And then we have B hanging off the other end. So again, if B is much heavier, 22.5 and 8 it is. So B is going to have acceleration of 2A. A is going to have acceleration of A. And if we do our equations of motion, we'll have a look at what they're asking for then. A has two strings mg for a is going to be 8g and acceleration is in this direction so 2t opposing it is 8g is equal to ma 8a which we could write as t minus 4g is equal to 4a b has one string has acceleration of 2a don't forget to bring that down. It has its m, 22.5 times g. And my equations now are 22.5 g minus t is equal to m, 22.5 times a, which is your 2a. So 22.5 g minus t is equal to 45 a. I bring this one across minus 4g plus t equals 4a so i'm going to get 17.5g all right 18.5g 18.5g careful 18.5g is equal to 49a so a is equal to 49 
that looks like a G49 over 18.5 G no going the, going the wrong around 18 over 49 18.5 over 49 And G divided by 49, 9.8 over 49 is 1 over 5, so this is 18.5 divided by 5, 3.7, 18.5 divided by 5, what were you asked in this question, show that A is 3.7, B is 2A, 2A is equal to twice, always show it, 3.7 which is 7.4, and the tension is 54. Have we got an easy one for tension? This looks easy enough. Tension is equal to 4A plus 4G. Tension is equal to 4 by 3.7 plus 9.8. So the tension is equal to 4 times 13.5, which is in fact 54 newtons.